you know, I'm, I'm Gil. I've been LARPing for like four years now. And I remember Dustin. Dustin actually got me into the LARPing though because Dustin told me we did DAG. And then he said, and then I did Amp Guard. And then he was like, well, why don't you come to Novotas? And I was really hesitant because I'm like, ah, oh, it's like two hours. It's like an hour away, hour and a half away. But he convinced me enough and I came and honestly, it's actually one of the greatest lives I've been to though. Like, you get you get a sense of, of friendship here because at home I sit and play games all day. This is where I actually go to socialize. <laughs> Hi, I'm Evan Smith. I've been coming to Kingdoms of Novotas for about 12 years now, give or take. Um, took a few years off here and there, but um, I was first invited to come to Novotas by some friends from church and um, been coming pretty much ever since. Yeah, it's been um, my, really my favorite hobby since I started and um, it's been awesome. Oh my God, how much money do you think you spent on <laughs> How much money do I think I've spent? You mean, I mean, in terms of garb and gear? Yeah. I'm up to I like know. 4K. <laughs> like dead serious. 4K out of how many years, would you say? About four. So I spent about a... For a thousand every, a year. And for every new PC I make, it's about a thousand dollars worth of garb. <laughs> how many PCs you have? Four. <laughs> I think, honestly, I, I've spent less. i spent considerably less. I've had to kind of operate on a budget. Probably around a thousand over that time. I, I, I think on, it's because... On different garb and gear and such. <laughs> I think for more. me, I think it's more the customization. And that costs more. But mm -hmm. I think adding mm -hmm. customization to your character adds a lot to the web game. Because oh, not yeah. everybody's running around with the same armor, not everybody's looking the same. And that's one thing about this web that I like, like nobody's looking the same. Like, obviously there's websites where you can buy, you know, medieval collectibles, you know, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You can buy armor, but it's like, you get freedom of choice. Nobody actually like is running the same set armor out here. It's like everybody either has like just clothes or like some different style of plate mail on or segmentadas. Like um I don't think I don't think you ever met um oh he started with a, I forgot the dude's name, he started with Al and he had like this whole black suit. And I just called him I called him black armor and then I met um this other dude who had a segmentado and I played as Traeger and we just patrol because we're, they, were, they were beasts, you know? They're not going to die anytime soon. Yeah. And then they start coming. <laughs> yeah, I actually ended up using the same armor um, for two of my characters, but I just wear completely different stuff over the top. Because the armor is probably the, like among the most expensive things, so, you know, you just use... Ulysses' first armor was like 700 and something dollars, customized. Yeah. And, and I was like... And that's like, I had the rhino symbol and everything, and then I was like, okay, and then he died. I'm like... Well, I'm gonna make trade guard. I'm like, I kind of want like this whole ensemble of, of like an emblem on my thing and a cloak for ceremonial reasons and a shield and a bag and just this whole thing. And then Bond was actually the cheapest. Bond, I just bought uh, Jordan's uh, armor for 120 bucks. And that's really what he wore. And then obviously Onyx is a little bit more, uh, he's a little more up there. A lot of the jewelry he wears was over 100 bucks. Yeah. So. Well, that's the, the great thing about LARP is like it doesn't matter really so much like your socioeconomic class of a whole lot in that you can you can you can go all out and customize and like make everything like specific to your character or you can make your character look unique just by throwing on like a different tabard, no, and I think which you can get for you know agree. maybe fifty bucks or so. I think, and then that's the thing. I think a lot of people get this idea that oh, LARP is too expensive, but, like, right? But like you said, I spent about 4K, you spent about 1K. And it's like, it's it's yeah. not about, it's about how you want to put yourself together. I like the customization. So yes, mm -hmm. I'm going to pay a little mm -hmm. bit more, but you know, yeah. some people, you don't need that. Tunic and pants would be just fine. Yeah, and, and I mean, when I started, I was just tunic and pants. And I mean, I came in with the whole kit. <laughs> <laughs> I came in with the whole kit. I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm going hard day one of my yeah. PC ship. I was at Orca Clock and nobody was there. It was me and two people. Mm -hmm. And I've been on the NPC side of Orca Clock and I and I tell people this all the time. The most scary feeling you will ever have is your first hour of PC. Because you yes. don't know what is going to go down because you're not in logistics no more. So when they came in, I'm like, mm, just three of us? I know how this is going to end. It's, a, it's not a good day for us. Well, and 
game when I started was it was a lot more scary because everybody was low level. I wish we could go back my, to that. My group, I think we had maybe like one guy who was 20 and then the rest of us were all like 10 or under for a while. And this was back in the day when before they had um, craftsmen where you could make magical weapons. So there was one elven steel weapon in game. So the only thing that can hurt wraiths, there was one weapon for one person. So if a wraith came up, we were all running around shouting, where's Nei? We need elven steel. And I remember one of, it was terrifying, but me and like the two healers just huddled inside one of the cabins, praying, please don't let the wraith walk through the wall. <laughs> not today, not today. But see, that's that's the thing. It was like, and people always ask why I always make PCs. It's, it's because of that feeling. Once I feel my PC is no longer intimidated by its surroundings, I kill it. I don't like it. I I like the fear. The fear is what keeps keeps the game fresh. Yes. It's once you once you walk through and you're the jack of all trades and you're like, oh, Kazvak, blah blah blah. And it's like no, Kazvak is supposed to be scary. They eat your spark. But if you if you go, oh, Kazvak, yeah, whatever, we'll take care of that. It's like then what's the point? What are you doing now at this point? Like, if nothing is, is a threat to you, why even bother? Nothing's Personally. a threat to me. I mean, that is buzzers. Just because you're a buzzer. Everybody <laughs> loves buzzers. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. You really love buzzers with that bomb guy. <laughs> that bomb guy like buzzers. But I think, I think, I do think there's an issue, though, that uh, as you play, you kind of stale out. And you gotta reinvent yourself. Can be. Onyx is really the way he is, because all my people were fighters, heavy fighters. And I was like, I've done this for so long, I wanna I I'm tired of just going out and fighting. So mm -hmm. now I'm like, well I'll make a coward who's a merchant who's just all about being bougie. And it's different, you know, it it allows you to see the game from both angles. Yeah. And that's one of the big things. It's like if you if you do one thing for years, you're really missing out on this whole other aspect of the game that you never see because you're always out in the woods. You had only two people, right? PC so far? I've had three. Oh, three so far. Yeah, I had a uh, battle mage was my first character, got killed after like a year or two, and then I did sort of a rogue assassin, and then now I'm a paladin. In style. Now you're a paladin. I had a, I had the leader of the rhinos who was very political, and then, actually, I use. I would say I've actually used my PCs as a means to try to change the game. Like I saw things in, in the way the games were, and I'm like, I don't like that. So typically, my next PC was like, he's gonna try to fix this, which is my trigger. I was like, we need order, we need rules, we need this and that, because it shouldn't be fair that a slave merchant could come in on Monday and, and sell people, and then on a Tuesday, because this guy's here, he gets killed. Like, it doesn't make, it's not fair. Like a diehard lawful person. Yeah, so, like, straight law. Like, I was, mm -hmm. trigger was the type of dude, like, oh, you cut off his arm? Okay, do you want to cut off his arm? How do you want to do this? It's an equal exchange opportunity here. And apparently people were very weirded out about that. People thought, oh, my character was kind of evil because of had that mentality. But he believed in absolute justice. Like, oh, you killed him? You got revived. He's going to kill you. If somebody wants to revive you, that's their choice because somebody chose to revive him. But I'm not going to stop him. I'm going to stand right here and let it happen. <laughs> right. so, and then Bond. So the classic eye for an eye mentality. Yeah, and then Bond was all about uh, since the Dark Three are always in the shadows, I got tired of that because the, I felt the game needs to incorporate something for the Dark Three. It's, we're always fighting Dark Three things and bad people, but as Dark Three members, we're not getting Septons out there to be like, hey, the dark, these people are Dark Three members, just Septons. Try to do something to see if they kill you or something and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, what, is, like, what do they have? So that's why I was open as an option. I'm like, let's see what the game is going to do I uh, with somebody who's just right, open yeah, about his, his right. acts. Well, I and I died. <laughs> <laughs> I died. My first PC did die, yeah. Like, somebody uh, thought I stole something yeah, that I didn't, and they killed me for it without investigating. Yeah. 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 Wild Wild West Pinedale. Yeah, exactly. Pinedale. And that was back in the day when Final Rust was by the power of Final Rust. Yeah, what you need? Oh my God. Or, or, or. Oh, I just called out at some point. Well, that's the end of that episode. <laughs>